Now over to our last deep dive on IPFS Operator. Corey. Hello, uh, my name is Corey. I'm with the Filecoin infrastructure team, and uh, this is about the IPFS operator. Uh, the IPFS operator is a Kubernetes operator that uh, is designed to help people run an IPFS uh, cluster or a set of IPFS nodes in the Kubernetes environment. Uh, the key feature of it is that it is a turnkey IPFS cluster. Uh, you can see the GIF working over there on the right. Uh, that GIF is actually going through the entire process that is required to set up uh, in, in a full-fledged uh, IPFS cluster. You could see that it's it's quite simple. Uh, it boils down to basically one uh, one command. The uh, goal of, of uh, this project is to spread the adoption of Web3 uh, and to enable it to be more easily run in high production environments, uh, particularly those that are found uh, you know, users who might run Kubernetes. What we would like to do is we would like to, uh, for Kubernetes operators, if they, if they have a storage need, if they if they are uh, searching for what uh, what storage projects or what storage product that they want to use, IPFS should be right there where they right there next to you know Ceph and the rest. Uh, when they go through their catalog and they uh, wonder which product to make or which product to select, IPFS should should be there uh, right in their face and it should work for them and they should have a good time with it. Uh, this project is being developed in partnership with Red Hat. Uh, so I've included uh, our uh, GitHub link right there. Uh, we have moved recently. The uh, code has is now on I, in, in the IPFS uh, cluster org. It is the same code and the same project. This is just a zoomed in version just to really uh, hammer home, uh, hammer home uh, how easy it is to set up. Uh, you can see what, what we've got here. It's a very uh, simple, uh, configuration file that you can set up. You can just use your standard Kubernetes uh, utilities that uh, operators of this type will be very comfortable with and apply it to your cluster. A brief overview of how this, uh, how this actually works. Uh, this is actually two uh, Kubernetes uh, controllers built into one binary. Uh, one of them is the IPFS uh, cluster operator itself. And the other one is, is a controller for uh, libp2p. Uh, this is an optional component that you can add in uh, in case you would like to use hole punching services that are not uh, simply the public hole punching services. But what I want to stress is that uh, this offers a complete uh, a complete package for everything that you might need to run your IPFS cluster in Kubernetes, uh, including all the things listed here, configuration, uh, cluster following, uh, all this comes straight out of the box. How do I get this thing? Uh, as I mentioned on the first slide, I want this to be right in front of your face when you uh, go to select a storage platform. Uh, it will soon, although not yet, it will be featured on the operator hub, uh, which is one of the things that uh, you, particularly users of OpenShift will, will be familiar. Uh, this is a catalog of uh, other IPF or other Kubernetes clusters or excuse me, other Kubernetes operators, um, it will sit in in this uh, catalog right alongside you know uh, other things like Ceph or Rook or something like that. Uh, additionally, this is for internal use cases mostly at the at the moment. If you happen to be running on our uh, Weave clusters, uh, IPFS is available as an option. Uh, you can get a cluster built you know by us to uh, that will have the operator pre-installed. These are some features that we are soon to land. Uh, these are not entirely uh, functioning if you were to run the code right now, but there are uh, PRs available for it. Uh, what we would like to do is have better support for external facing services. Wouldn't it be great if you could take advantage of this one click uh, installation facility and then uh, use this to operate your own IPFS gateway? I think so. Uh, and we can make that happen. We have some Changes that are coming down the pike uh, that will that will be landing, uh, you know, before we get to the uh, IPFS camp. Where can I learn more? Uh, I've I put some screenshots here. Documentation can be seen in a number of places now. I, I've listed these in the comments of this slide if anybody is wondering. But uh, you can uh, always reach us at the uh, IPFS operator GitHub page. 
Uh, also, there are documents, uh, documentations that can be seen on the on Read the Docs. Uh, there, we are featured on uh, Red Hat Next uh, project, uh, which I have a screenshot there. There have been a couple of talks that have discussed this project. Uh, one of them was by uh, myself at the uh, IPFS thing that happened in Iceland, and. Uh, also, my colleague Oleg from Red Hat has done a talk at DevConf 2022. Adding to this list, uh, Oleg and I will be at the uh, IPFS camp in Lisbon. So uh, we will be doing a talk there as well. So we will see you there.